Hi, this is Kevin from uh, Gemini Outdoors, and in today's theory of use video, we are going to be discussing EDC, which stands for Everyday Carry. I've been seeing a lot of uh, videos on YouTube, people really interested in what everybody else is carrying, so I'm just decided I was going to do me a video on that too. But before I get to that, uh, I wanted to talk about why I haven't been posting uh, very many YouTube videos. Hang on a second, if you hear background noise, that's my son. Uh, yeah. I'm making the video. Okay. You stay quiet, okay? What you stay. Are you doing? I'm just making this video. You gonna stay quiet for daddy so I can make it? It'll be real quick, okay? And then we'll start playing. I'm gonna take him outside here in a minute and uh, do some uh, playing. Hopefully, if it don't storm outside, it's uh, really stormy. But anyway, I wanted to do a uh, a. I think I did another video about EDC, but uh, I'm gonna I'm doing this one to kind of replace that video. So this is my current EDC, which is of today, um, as of today, which is Memorial Day, 2015. This is the EDC that I'm gonna be doing. But before I get to that, I want to explain why I haven't been uh, doing any YouTube videos, and the main reason was uh, back in March, of course, I did my summer update show and I said uh, on there that I was going to be doing more excursions and I was planning on doing that but uh, in the, at the beginning of April when I was getting ready to do it uh, my family come down with a really bad stomach virus and I got caught up in that too it started off with uh, my son my four-year-old son the ones right over there and uh, uh, he gave it to my wife and then my wife gave it to my stepdaughter and myself and eventually we had to go to the doctor and we got a bunch of different medicine and as, I, as some of you know I have an underlying medical condition that makes it really difficult for me to get over uh, you know viruses and stuff like that, infections stuff like that so uh, it, it's it, it wiped me out I mean, it wiped me out really bad. That's one of the bad, the worst experiences I've ever had with the stomach virus. That it, it kept me down that long. It's been over a month and a half, and I had to take a return trip to the doctor. Uh, they put me on vitamins, stuff like that, and uh, I'm starting to feel a lot better now, to where I can get out and not just be completely wiped out of energy and you know, just tired all the time and weak. And it took me a long time to get over that. But anyway, that's. And I've had a lot of other stuff uh, here in, in the month of May. Uh, I had uh, my, my stepdaughter, she graduated middle school. And my oldest stepson, he graduated high school. Congratulations to those two. I'm really proud of you guys. Uh, keep up the hard work. Uh, and to Matthew, you know, I, I wish you all the best um, in your working life now. So uh, good luck with that. But. Um, to get back to EDC, to me, uh, I've seen a lot of videos where guys uh, talk about EDC, and a lot of guys go overboard, in my opinion, on EDC. Um, there's a lot of guys that are carrying packs. Is that good? My son just got him a drink out of the refrigerator, which is directly behind the camera, so there you go. Um. And, you know, and a lot of these guys go really overboard, in my opinion, for EDC, which is totally up to you. If you want to get you a big old bag and, you know, or, or a big fanny pack or, or a side pouch and all that, who knows, maybe one day I will, I will do a side pouch. But if I do do it, it'll probably be something to go along with the EDC because I have a get home bag in my truck. And my EDC is, they, they are, are compatible with one another. I, I talk a lot about compatibility in uh, my videos and, and my, my evaluations about being compatible with other types of systems and stuff like that. So I want all my systems to be able to work with one another in order to be, be more efficient in uh, you know, getting me home and, getting, and being able to survive off of those types of things. So having a big pouch off my side. I want my EDC to be very light and uh, very mobile. 
I guess. They're, they're just tools for everyday life. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm not going out there and going to build a skyscraper with this stuff. You know, I, I just want this stuff to be able to handle some, just some minor repair work and, you know, minor things, not no major deals, but I want them to be, I want them to be able to do that. My son's running back and forth behind the camera if you're wondering what that noise is. Um, if you hear it, I don't know. I'm trying out a new mic. I got me a little, I don't know if you can see it right there, my little lapel mic. So I'm trying out some new camera equipment too today. But anyway, let's get back to EDC, what I'm talking about. Um, by the way, these videos are going to probably be this way. I'm, I'm going to be watching my son a lot. So I'm going to try to incorporate him into a lot of my video work too because I don't really see a lot of of gear evaluators and and guys that do stuff like me on YouTube incorporating their family that much and I'm, I'm gonna try to do that especially with my little one because he's noisy as you can hear and he's a lot of fun me and him had a lot of fun yesterday and the day before it's Memorial Day weekend happy Memorial Day to all my vets out there uh, we're really proud of you guys and thank you for serving our country and giving us our freedoms and keeping us free. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much from uh, Gemini Outdoors and all my Geminis out there. I'm sure they feel the same way I do. We love you and thank you. Um, but getting back to EDC, it should be, like I said, it should be light. It should be, you should be able to carry it in your pockets on your person and I don't consider like a side pouch maybe a side pouch if you're in an emergency maybe call it like an emergency bag or something like that I can see it so what are some of the first things uh, I consider for my ADC well you're looking at it I got it on right now my clothes uh, you need a good pair of shoes that you can run in if you have to you want a good pair of shorts a good pair of jeans a good pair of pants and a good shirt um, <clears throat> um, I just run into these shirts. These are Dickies work shirts at Walmart for like 10 bucks a piece. I bought like four or five of them. I really like them. They got a pocket up at the top for, uh, I carry a, a memo book and a pen. Uh, I'll get in that here in just a second. But anyway, that, that's, that's one thing that I want to do. But make sure you're comfortable in them. Make sure that they're breathable. Make sure they're light. They're not hot during the summer. It's getting to the summer months, you know. In the winter, you, you want to carry, you know, you want to have a good jacket and some, some good thermal uh, layer stuff. Um, and now we'll get into the tool part of it. The number one tool that, that I carry in my EDC is, of course, my knife. This is the Buck Bantam. I'm about to do an eval on this. Uh, as you can see, it does a, a very good job. I really do like it. It's a lock back design. Um, I want my primary folding knife that I keep in my pocket to be one of the best ones that I have on me because this is going to be doing a lot of the hard work. And of course, if I'm carrying one pocket knife, usually I'm going to carry two. And I've been carrying this as my backup. That is, of course, the Sheffield small folding knife. I really like this knife, especially as a backup to my primary knife, uh, which is going to be changing here pretty soon because usually what I do is if I'm doing a uh, doing gear evals, I'll usually EDC it. So more likely, my I'm not going to be carrying a buck battle much longer. I'll be carrying something else, uh, you know, testing it in everyday life and all that. So, but this little Sheffield knife, if you can find them. They're cheap, they're like five bucks a piece, but man, they're really good. I haven't had any issues out of mine because I haven't been trying to pry a car door off with it. You know, just using it to cut stuff with, it works. It works really good. There are my knives. The next thing that I carry in my EDC is a good flashlight. I just started carrying a flashlight. This is a Ultra Fire, let's see. Let me see if I can find it. Q5. No, that's the that's the my bad. That's the uh, the LED in it. This is the Ultrafire HWA. I believe I got it off of Amazon for like three bucks. This is awesome. I got I have another one that's smaller than this. Uh, it's a Bushnell Pro. 
I got it a few weeks ago. I haven't been having anything but problems out of it. So that eval will be coming soon. But I went to this lot because it's more reliable. It's a little bit bigger, but man, it really works. It throws out great lot. Uh, just, I absolutely love this little thing. It's one of the best buys. I might buy me a few more if I can manage to get the. Uh, it's also you can focus it so like that. I don't know if you can see it, but I like that. So, but anyways, um, it's a nice little lot. I always suggest having a good a good little flashlight uh, along with you. Next thing that I'm going to be carrying is a very small, a very small multi-tool. I don't want a big multi-tool in my pocket to weigh me down. This is um, from Cobalt. I got it at Lowe's. It was in a pack of different uh, multi-tools I've seen. It was like 20 bucks. I was like, this is a great deal. It came with like a flashlight, a little keychain light, uh, and multi-tool, a bigger multi-tool and a utility knife and I've lost the flashlight. The flashlight was pretty good too but I lost it. I don't know where it went. Uh, some little gremlin came in here and took it I believe. But you want a small multi-tool. You don't want something super huge going in your pocket. I want, like I said I want to keep my stuff lightweight. So if you hear background noise my son's over there playing. But these come in real handy. Now they're not, like I said, you're not going to build a skyscraper with this. This is just to deal with some minor stuff. You know, stuff that you're going to run into in everyday life. The next thing that, of course, you're going to take along with you is going to be your keys. And as you can see, I got a lot of them. I'm like a janitor or prison guard. I got a lot of them. And, uh, you know, those can weigh you down. That's why I keep it on this little thing where sometimes if I've just got to run you know, up to the store or something, I can just take a set of them off that I need. I got two, you know, got two vehicles, so those keys are right there. Uh, another thing is a way to start fire. I picked this up the other day. It is a lighter, it's a Ronson, and uh, I really like it to have to, to make fire. And I prefer these kind of these butane lighters that have the jet fire to them um, because they're really easy to, to start a fire with. So uh, I highly recommend you get one of these. Uh, they, they do real good, real good. And I also got some 503 torches that are going in some of my systems too. They're a little bit long. I don't think I won't, really would want to carry one in my pocket, but as you can see, this one is just the right size to fit in your pocket and it is windproof, as you can see. Another thing that, I'm, that I've started carrying, uh, I made me a necklace with a fire steel on it, just in case, you know, this thing can malfunction. Everything can malfunction, so it's always good to have a backup with you, and that's what I got this for. I made a little uh, necklace out of it, like I did with the, uh, the the last EDC video I had on there. I had a little clip, little, uh, like a... I can't think right now. Anyway, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It had it was a little. Uh, what am I trying to think of? I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't think right now. I got my son over there talking, so I can't think. But anyway, I made a little just a little necklace out of this. And then the next thing, and like I said the other day, I had that hit and run. This came in really handy. Uh, just a memo pad. Now I know a lot of guys and a good pen. A very good pen. This is very important. I'll get to this again here in just a second. The other day, uh, when I had when I when I was hit from this fellow, um, I didn't have enough time to to write down his license plate or anything like that. Which I sh I wouldn't have think in that frame of mind. I mean, when something like that happens, sometimes you just you just don't think about it. And he took off, and I was just like, where's he going, you know? And the gentleman behind me seen the whole thing and had called the police. And he came up and was talking to me. Of course, you know, we're sitting there waiting on the police, and they didn't show up for 30 minutes. I was sitting there on the side of the road for like 30, 40 minutes waiting for the state trooper to show up. And uh, he had to leave, so I asked him if he would write, if I could get his name and his information, and he, he wrote it down in my book. 
and uh, the police officer had ma managed to get in touch uh, with him about that but it's always a good idea to have one of these I know a lot of guys uh, out there say get uh, waterproof stuff and I agree to to a certain degree that you should be able to do that uh, or you you can do that you know get some that waterproof matter of fact mine seems like the edge has gotten wet on it so um, yeah I do suggest that you do that you can get them real cheap at the dollar store not not the rainproof ones but just uh, you know some real cheap ones here's here's my old one right there so you can get those for like a pack of three of them for a buck but they come in handy in case you need to write something down something that you might forget I wrote down the description of the guy and the vehicle and all that and um, hopefully all that will be taken care of too um, that really teed me off I guess all you guys can relate in a way I guess um, and then the pen let me get to the pen I like the Uniball Signo 207 and the reason I like it is because a lot of you guys a lot of guys out there talk about tactical pens and to me I don't know if I want to carry one but what I like about this one is it's got some a metal tip to it and you can use that metal tip to defend yourself with so that's why I like carrying this I carry it in my, up here in my pocket and I carry it with me everywhere I go and it's a very reliable pen too I like the way it writes so that pretty much pretty much covers what I what I carry in my EDC system and uh, like I said you know will I eventually incorporate like an emergency pouch or something like that and maybe carry like a first aid kit or something like that uh, yeah and another thing uh, the reason that I have not included a firearm which I probably should have is when I'm at home I've always got a firearm on me which I don't have on me right now because this kind of got thrown together real quick so uh, you know like I said I'm watching my son too so I didn't want to drag all that stuff out and have to worry about him so uh, I just you know uh, I have a extra mag uh, uh, extra uh, holster for my extra magazines that I keep on my side on my belt and I have a Black Hawk holster which I keep on my other side with the with the gun and of course uh, you know the pistol itself uh, but I, I do carry that when I'm at home and when when I'm out in the yard doing stuff like that just in case I need it uh, until I get my concealed carry then when I get my concealed carry of course I'm gonna carry that around with me too so uh, that will be considered part of my EDC but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Kevin Sharp from Gemini Outdoors. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear about your EDC. Uh, and we'll catch you later. Something else I wanted to uh, add on to real quick. Um, you need to carry some sunglasses, some eye protection. Uh, along with you too that's another good thing that you can carry with the with uh, your EDC system uh, these are their sunglasses and they are also shooters glasses so they do offer protection from foreign objects getting into your eyes and from the Sun as well and uh, I got these these are um, these are eye gogs and I got them I think at Gander Mountain and uh, I I recommend them they're they're very they're really nice I'm probably could do a eval on those um but they work they work really well i i think i remember seeing them they, they still sell them there i believe but um you know protecting your eyes your eyes are one of your most valuable assets that you have so uh protecting them is, a, is really important so i really do suggest that you get a good quality pair of sunglasses uh, to protect them